Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about what it's like being a YouTube blogger. Follow along. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Again, today I wanted to talk about what it's like or what it has been like being a YouTube vlogger for almost the past year. Um, I'm not sure how long everyone's been watching my videos. Um, this is not going to be one of those popular searches where I'm trying to get the video ranked and so on, but uh, just to show you or tell you what it's been like because I've run into a few people recently that say, you know what, I want a vlog. I wanted to do a food vlog. I wanted to do a travel vlog and so on. Um, so I just wanted to go over a few things about what it's been like and what it's what it's taken. So I started uh, May 31st. I've always had videos up on YouTube, mostly personal things, uh, you know, live bands or special events and things like that. Uh, but recently, uh, as of, I think it was May 31st or May 30th or whenever it was last year when I moved to uh, Medellin, Colombia, that's the day I started uh, when I flew there and I vlogged everything. I wanted to show the experience of actually moving outside the country. Um, I was motivated by a few other uh, travel vloggers, uh, namely uh, This Is Ace Live. Um, also Carlton, Carlton's Travel Adventures. Um, I followed them for months before I even thought, thought about doing this. And uh, also uh, Rike, uh, Rike in, uh, he's in the Philippines. Sorry for the noise, I live downtown. Um, but uh, so yeah, so that's how I got started. I, I kind of emulated myself after them. I started with nothing but uh, my cell phone. And it was crazy in the beginning for me just sitting on that couch saying I'm starting today and I moved to another country and I was working on myself and I did get a lot out of that trip. I did learn a lot about myself um, and, you know, and that was the focus of it. it. It became more of something that I just wanted to do as an outlet. So, you know, if there's a hobby that you have, if you're into cameras or if you're into bowling or if you're into planting and gardening, it's just it's a hobby, you know. I wasn't looking at it to make money, but you know, uh, just like anything else that I get into, and I'm sure you do the same, um, you wanted to graduate. You wanted to get better and better at what you were doing and so on. So and then, hence I've gotten to this point. And if it doesn't seem like I've gotten to a lot by looking at this video, go back and look at that first video in Medellin, you know, with the, with the phone uh, set, set up or me sitting on the patio in Medellin you know, I still watch some of those videos and I get dizzy and sick just watching it because I move the camera too much, you know. And I've always asked for advice and, you know, not until I talk to my sister and she goes, uh, uh, well, you may may not want to move the camera as much, you know, or somebody else that tells me, yeah, I can't hear what you're saying. You know, you can get away with bad quality video, I've learned, but you can't get away with bad audio. Um, so, and I graduated from step to step. I didn't want to spend any money, any real money on anything. Um, I wanted to use my camera and just be authentic and show what, uh, what I was going through and what my experiences were, especially in Medellin, Colombia. Um, so please go back and look at those videos if you haven't. For me, uh, uh, climbing uh, Tres Cruces, the, the mountain, I did three mountains in three days. That was straight nuts, uh, most of which I didn't know I was going to have to do. Uh, when I paraglided, I, I thought they would drive us up to the top. No, they took us halfway and we had to climb the rest of the way. Um, and then to... Uh, uh, Comuna Ocho. Uh, I had to climb another hill. My legs were killing me. And then, uh, you know, you would think climbing a mountain is bad enough, but the problem is when you come back down, and your legs are already tied and they're getting ready to give out. You think you're going to fall and it's getting dark. Yeah. So, but I had some good experiences there that I, that I was able to record. And from time to time, I go back and look at it myself. I say, man, did I do that? You know, did I, did I climb to the top of uh, El Pinol and, and Watape? Um, you know, and just in general life, did I, did I jump off the stratosphere in Las Vegas? Did I jump out of a plane? You know, was I actually in Amsterdam? Was I riding a camel in Dubai? You know, I, I go back and look at my own videos to motivate myself to do even more. But the reason that I, I began this was to show whoever would take the time to look. And even if no one looks, 
five people look, if somebody gets something out of, of my videos, then I'm blessed. So it was never to make money or to be monetized or anything, which, I, you know, even after a year, I'm not at, you, you know, and I'll go over that uh, in a bit. But uh, mostly to just show the experiences that I had and maybe to motivate someone else to travel. You know, that was my whole goal because truly I do believe, and if you've seen my other videos, I've said the same thing, that traveling changes who you are for the better. You know, you when you meet other people from other cultures, especially when you travel to a tourist destination, you're going to run into other tourists also. So you're going to see their take on it. You know, going to, to Guatemala, you'll be able to see, you know, your take on it. But then when somebody else goes there and they're from Europe or someone else goes there and they're from Australia um, or someone is from the Philippines or someone is from Iceland, you get to get their feedback. And it changes who you are to see how other people think about the exact same thing. You know, I've always said there is no right or wrong. It's just, you know, the meaning that you place on it. You know, you could say that's bad and somebody else can go, well, that's actually not bad because this actually stopped this. This virus is bad. Well, it turns out this virus is holding off another project to get done so we can be ready in time for something else. So, it, it you know, it changes who you are for the better and it's all perspective. So, you know, but being able to experience some of these places, you know, I could die today and I've lived a good life, really good life. I am blessed. I've been through some crap and some trouble, you know, when I was younger. I am blessed to be here. So, you know, everything is gravy. You know, I am thankful. I am thankful. And I say thank you to myself and thank you to the universe all day long. Um, so, but anyway, back back to the YouTube. I wanted to to pass on what I was doing so that others could see it and maybe to motivate someone else to uh, vlog as well and show your point of view because everything is on YouTube. You know that. You know, if I want to change a doorknob and I don't know how to do it, you know, I've changed the same doorknob three times and forgot each time. I go to YouTube, pull up that same video, and he's like, okay, Trista, okay, oh, 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 I got it. Or if you need to change a tire on something, you need to change a water pump on a certain thing, you know, there is a specific video, it seems like, for everything. So, you know, where somebody may, you know, do a video on binoculars and you're not familiar with binoculars, that may help you in purchasing your binoculars and making sure you get the right one. So almost everything is on YouTube. Um, it's the second largest search engine in the world, if you didn't know that, right behind Google. And guess who owns it? Google. So. They kind of work together and they tie in together. But, you know, what you see is me in front of the camera. What you don't see is what's behind the camera. You know, it, it takes hours, hours to edit these videos. There was a gentleman that uh, watched one of my videos that had Gregory at the end. And he was, you know, in his uh, career, it was, a, it was a what's up where Gregory and I both say, what's up at the beginning. Um, and he had been to Guatemala, to Lake Atila also. And I'll never forget what he told me in his comments. And he, he wasn't on there to get monetized, to make money. He may have had 100, 200 subscribers, not a lot of subscribers. His whole thing was he wanted to put out good content and wanted to hopefully someday get a job from it that somebody else will recognize his effort and, and his work. And I'll never forget him telling me, it's all in the editing. It's all in the editing. So at that point, I, I always hear him in my mind because he typed it out. But, you know, I've, I've focused more on editing. And, and I, I'll never forget, uh, I did the Vietnam videos uh, when I went to uh, Vietnam. And there, I think I did three, three videos and kind of combined everything into three. I could have split that up into 10 videos easily. But, the, you know, the nine second mark, they say you should cut it nine seconds because people lose, uh, lose their attention. So how many people still there? Are you still there? Um, but, um, I spent on one of those videos alone, you'll never guess how long I spent on editing it. I spent 10 hours for a maybe 25 minute video, 10 hours, and still never got it perfect. You know, and I started to notice, you know, I would let things slide, you know, because they say you should do your video, go back and look at it, cut out some stuff, go back and look at it again, cut out some stuff, go back and look at it again and cut out some more stuff. So that's what I did. So after going back and cutting out stuff, uh, then you have to make sure that the music is good. You have to make sure the sound is good. You have to make sure the zoom is good. You know, are there any other 
uh, features that you want to add to it, like transitions? Do you need to take out a transition? Do you, do you just cut straight from this to that? Um, do I fade left to right, right to left? I mean, just in music selections alone, just to find the right tone for the experience that you had may take 30 minutes to a half an hour just to find that one song. Now, in a 30 minute video, a 25 minute video, you need a few songs. So you need to make sure they're all the same. You need to make sure they're all copyrighted proof because you, uh, you see some of my videos, man, they slapped me with a copyright for like a church march uh, in Guatemala, recording a procession. They slapped me with a copyright. They still, I love you YouTube, man, but you guys are heavy on copyright. You know, you can't just walk in a bar with a camera and expect to put it on YouTube because they could be Bruce Springsteen playing and next thing you know, boom. Now you got good content of somebody flipping and doing something crazy and you can't use it. Or you have to take out that sound and, and, and replace it with something else. And that's difficult. You want your project to be good when you put it out. So now it takes longer. So I, I started with that phone. I graduated to a gimbal, which is, I don't have it here, but it's a, a gimbal that you hold up. Uh, you know, you grip it and the phone sits on top of it. So even if you turn it, it stays level because I have a lot of videos of me jumping around and moving too fast and you know, you can really get dizzy. Again, I look at some of my videos and I get dizzy now, but it's out there and the content's out there. So just bear with it and, and graduate with me. So from the, gim from the gimbal, then I, I knew at some point that my audio was not perfect, so I had to get the microphone. So I got a microphone and I was given a couple of microphones with an extension cord and they could share between two people. Um, and then it had to plug into my newest camera, which is my uh, Osmo uh, Pocket. It's like this big, big I'll show a picture of, you, of it. It has a little teeny camera with a gimbal, and again, I can move it around, I can shake it, I can clip it on my body. Um, watch my video of me riding around on my bike through downtown uh, Houston. That's what I used, um, and it'll stay level. You could turn and tilt, and it stays level and, and on the horizon. So. Uh, I graduated to that, then I had to make sure that the microphone connected to it, so then I had to make sure the microphone had that adapter. That adapter was $39, a little teeny adapter. Um, you need to make sure the microphone was right and the cables were correct, and then I had to have the, the little selfie stick with controls on it. I got the entire package that came with all the bells and whistles. And I will tell you that I have used all the bells and whistles too. So it's a lot. You know, if it's something that you want to do, do it. Start with a camera. You just, ha if it's something you want to do, the rule is do it. Just start. You don't need the fancy camera or you don't need the, the fancy audio system. Just start. And then once you start, you'll start wanting to, okay, now I need to get better and I need to get better. And from sitting in front of the camera, camera to doing some, you know, some things over here, you know, some things over here. Um, and then just make it happen. You know, just, just start. You know, so if it's something that you want to do and you want to do something for food uh, or travel or the lockdown, because this lockdown is crazy, changed everything, um, got us sitting in front of a camera talking to ourselves. But uh, anyway, I have a lot of other videos coming out. I want to do some short ones like this just to give you some feedback on what's going on. Um, but I wanted to talk about the YouTube just so you know that what you see is not all the work that goes into it. You know, sometimes I'll finish work and, and, and from five or six until midnight, I'm sitting in front of a computer and I'm editing and I'm cutting. And first, in the new software that I'm using, I use WeVideo if, for those who are into it and it's an outstanding video. Um, uh, I, I used to use what, DOHC or, or, or whatever it was. So shout out to Ajima for, for, for hooking me up on that. When I saw his editing and I was like, man, what are you using? And he had just signed up for the year. You pay monthly or you can pay for the year. So I decided just go ahead and pay for the year. It has stock content. Of course, you can see stuff popping all around. Um, video and pictures and sound. Uh, all the sound is probably not what you want all the time, but you know, uh, YouTube gives you a selection of music also that you use. Um, but it, it, it started with that camera, graduated to caring about the sound, graduated to caring about the, the stability of the camera. Um, also in the lighting too, it takes a while to get past, you know, the light ring. You'll see some of my videos with, you know, circles in my glasses. And if I don't have my glasses on, you'll see circles in my eyes. So recently, that's the latest thing that I graduated to, and that's my green screen background. 
Um, and that's what's behind me now, although I have, you know, something to show back there. Changes the game. Changes the game. I can be anywhere I want to. I can be anywhere I want to. I can be anywhere I want to. And it's all because of the green screen. And I've talked in some of my videos about creating things. And, and if it's something you want, just think it, say it, and do something towards what you want. Well, I put out into the universe. And again, when I put something out into the universe, when I ask the universe something, I get one of three answers. It's either yes, or yes, but not right now, or no, because something better is coming. So I put out into the universe, I wanted this green screen, and I have been on uh, uh, either, not next door, but uh, offer up. It's an app where you sell things. And I'd seen this one for like months it had been there. The first one I asked, you know, what do you, you know, you, I'm in sales. I tried to negotiate, he asked for 100. I said, how about 70? Because I knew we'd meet in the middle. Even though I knew it was like $250 worth of stuff, he said 100, so, you know. And after that first time, he never called me back. There was another guy that had it on there, and I kept trying to, you know, for months. I just, hey, I'm shooting you an email, just seeing if you do have that. And it's been a while, so it's probably gone, but let me check anyway. And then I was like, you know what? I, I took a pic, I, I put one of my lights, and I shined a green light on the wall. And by the way, it doesn't have to be green. It just needs to be the same color and an opposite color from what you're wearing. Ooh, I should have been particular about this shirt. Don't wear anything with green on it, because you'll disappear, too. Um, so I wonder how this video is going to come out. You'll see stuff around glowing around the edges too. Um, but I put out into the universe that I wanted that. And just before I was, I was shopping, I was looking on Amazon and how much it was $240. Uh, anyway, that morning I woke up the next morning and they got a message. Hey, Rob, sorry, I just saw your message. Uh, I'm not on here too much on this app. Are you still interested? Or well, yes, I am. It was Saturday morning at eight o'clock. I said, I can be there in a half an hour. I said, is it, is it still $100? And he was like, no, it's actually 130 I said, bet. I'm on my way. I'm in my car. I thought it was used. I showed up 21 minutes later. He pulled up two minutes later. It was still in the box. He never used it. So if you're watching this, and he has my car too, so if you're watching this video, thank you. Thank you. Changed my life. Because not only did it come with the green screen, a background, but it, or, and I also have a white and a black, but it also has the framing that holds the fabric as well as a lighting kit, a professional lighting kit. So you won't see the circles in my eyes anymore because you have to make, make that background look smooth. So um, I made it happen. It just, it created that out of nothing. So put out there what you want. If it's something you want to do, just do it. And this video is for one person. And if you've gotten this far in the video, it's for you. So I hope I'm motivating you uh, to get out there and either YouTube or create something on your own. Um, it's a process. It is a process from the time you take the video. You have to be conscious of the video that you're taking now. You have to uh, make sure that you have some background uh, video. That's called B-roll. And also I have enough, you know, extra content in the software where I can utilize that instead of uh, B-roll or, or use that as my B-roll. And that's just filler. Um, and then music and the cuts and the transitions. And you know, the one thing about Wii video is it's online. So I need to take the video from my camera put it on my PC, upload it to the cloud, wait, 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 wait. Each one separately take, and this take is probably too long, and, it, and then it's gonna take, you know, 30 minutes to upload. Whereas my other software was on the PC, but it wasn't that good. But then I, you edit it, and then you have to download it, and you wait, 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 wait. Now, okay, what do you wanna do? You wanna put it on YouTube, guess what? You gotta upload it again, the finished process, and now you need to do a thumbnail because thumbnails are what catches the person's eye. You know, that picture that you see when you're scrolling, 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 if you're like this off to the corner, you're probably not gonna get too much. But if you're, yeah, jazzy, what? I mean, if you have that, then you're more inclined to get clicks on your thumbnail. So, um, so pay attention to that too. That thumbnail may take an hour to do, just to get that. I use two softwares for it too. I use Canva, C-A-N-V-A. To do the picture now, I used to do the do the text on it, but I don't use the text on it because it's not that graphically pleasing. Uh, it doesn't do the glow, doesn't do the backgrounds. So I I take it from there, then I download it to my PC, then I upload it to PhotoJet. It's uh, f o t o j e t uh, dot com, and then I can put the words on it, move things around a little bit, 
and then you download it to your PC, and then you know it's your favorite folder. Then you have to upload that, and you have to write the description. And oh my God, looking for uh, uh, keywords or, key, uh, or tags to go with your video. You have 500 characters, and you better use them wisely. So, for COVID-19 test, I need COVID-19 test, COVID-19 test, COVID-19 antibody test, COVID-19 COVID-19. It, it's it, the myriad because that's what people use to type in. I also have another software uh, that I use that will actually tell me how many uh, people are searching for that term. Again, this is just me, and this is not going to be a popular video where I'm going to get one, two, three hundred. You know, if I'm lucky, to, I'm lucky to get 30 people to watch this video halfway through. But someone will, and I hope they get something out of it. And that's why this video is for you, and that's why I need you to go down and hit subscribe. Okay, hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Is, is will I make it in a year? I got another week. Uh, I'm at 900 right now, so I don't think it's going to happen. I'm um, staying positive, but uh, it's going to roll around and in time, uh, especially when I hit that mark. Because since I started there and started, you know, climbing slowly, then when I do roll over from last from last year to this year, it's going to peak even higher because now I had that first level on top of what I currently have. So it should be, uh, I'm already over 4,000. You have to have 4,000 uh, hours of watch time, which I'm past already. I'm like 4.3, 4.4. And as soon as I hit that year, it's gonna go up even more, um, way more. Um, and But it's just that you have to have 1,000 subscribers also, and then you have to apply to be monetized. And that's where they put commercials in your videos and uh, you get to uh, reap some of the benefits. Uh, it's not much, you know, if you get a check for $10 or $20, you know, unless you're a fancy YouTuber, like Carlton, the Carlton's Travel Adventures, <laughs> or Ace, this is Ace Live, and they're rolling in the dough, let me tell you. Then they can get on and do their live chats, and people do the, you know, kick in a few dollars here and there and help them on their, their uh, help them for their expenses. But uh, anyway, I appreciate it, everyone, for watching. If you made it this far, I, I, I appreciate you even more. Um, I have more videos coming out soon, so stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you.